say maybe everyone knows um, Scotia Bank closed here in, in Pemberton a little over a year ago. Um, you kind of took the initiative to um, to try and, and stop that, to try and bring attention to it. Um, why did you do that, and and what do you think the uh, the result of that was? Well, as a business person, uh, it was very concerning to me that uh, the one and only chartered bank that we have in our community was going to pack it in. Um, I was in absolute shock when I heard about it, and uh, also being a, a customer of the bank and, and a business that handles a, a lot of cash and a lot of transactions, uh, having a connection to that local bank was very important to my business. Uh, and talking with others in the community, uh, once I, uh, you know, the news started getting around, everybody was kind of saying the same thing. And uh, I think knowing a lot about the economic makeup of our community, uh, it made no sense. And it sort of made me wonder that do the people in Toronto really know what happens in our community? So I thought, well, if we uh, you know, do uh, some, some protesting and um, you know, online petition, then uh, perhaps it might, uh, might make, a, make a difference. The numbers here are small because of COVID, but the frustration is widespread. I've been dealing with them for 42 years. That's going to affect me. Last week, the Scotia Bank, which has been here for over 60 years, posted signs saying the branch will be closing in July, telling customers to use its Whistler location. I commute to Whistler two days a week, and I have 30 minutes on a good day, hour and 45 on a normal winter day sometimes, depending on skier traffic, car accidents. And many say it simply isn't an option for seniors and elders in the community who also don't bank online. I feel so bad because it's so important for me and to the senior uh, to have a bank in this town. A statement from the bank's head office in Toronto says they did not take the decision to close this branch lightly and that they understand it will have an impact on the community here in Pemberton, but that they felt it will allow them to provide better service for customers in Whistler and in Pemberton. The only other option for people will be to become members at the nearby credit union, but some local businesses worry those who do head to Whistler may spend in Whistler. Yeah, so there are a significant number of people that come to the bank on a regular basis on payday. They get their check, uh, they get it cashed, and they walk out of the bank with a fistful of dollars and they just start uh, basically spending that cash directly right here in our, in our town. An online petition to save the bank has over 2,000 signatures with letters now being sent from the local Chamber of Commerce and Village Council to Scotiabank headquarters. They all say they know their odds aren't good, but they have to try. Um... Did they stay? No, they still packed it in. Um, but I, I think one of the at least uh, positive outcomes of it was they, were, they actually left uh, an, an ABM machine in our community for all of the Scotiabank customers that could access that, uh, including myself. Um, and, you know, so, uh, you know, having, having that little portion, I guess, we could consider a little bit of a win. It is disappointing that the bank left town, but I think also... Uh, the attention that it created for our community possibly may have made some interest in another Canadian Chartered Bank coming to Pemberton. And uh, if I'm mayor, I'm more than happy to help foster that kind of a relationship.